Why are you taking us? Nicholas asked softly. Why have we left the main road? Trouble, Palamides said quietly. He tilted the rearview mirror to peer into the back of the cab. Only the alchemist was awake. The twins were slumped forward, held in place by seatbelts, while Gilgamesh was curled up on the floor, twitching and mumbling in Sumerian. Nicholas looked at the Saracen Knight's deep brown eyes in the mirror. I knew something was wrong when traffic was so heavy, the knight continued. Then I thought there might have been an accident. They were taking seemingly random turns, heading down narrow country lanes, lush green hedgerows battering against the side of the car. All the main roads are blocked. Police are searching every car. D, Flamel whispered. Unclipping his seatbelt, he slipped into the jump seat just behind the driver, twisting around to look through the glass partition at the night. We have to get to Stonehenge, he said. That is our only way out of this country. There are other lay gates. I could take you to Hollyhead and Wales, and you could get the ferry to Ireland. Newgrange is still active, Palamides suggested. No one knows where Newgrange comes out, Nicholas said firmly. And the ley line on Salisbury will take me just north of San Francisco. The knight turned down a road marked Private and stopped before a five-bar wooden gate. Leaving the engine running, he climbed out of the car and unlatched it. Flamel joined him, and together, the two men pushed it open. A rutted track led down to a ramshackle wooden barn. I know the owner, Palamides said shortly. We'll hide up here until everything calms down. Flamel reached out and caught Palamides' arm. There was a sudden over of cloves, and the alchemist jerked his fingers away as the knight's flesh turned hard and metallic. We need to get to Stonehenge. The alchemist gestured toward the road they had left. We can't be more than a couple miles away. We're close enough, Palamides agreed. Why the rush, alchemist? I have to get back to Baronel. He stepped in front of the knight, forcing him to stop. Look at me, Saracen. What do you see? He held up his hands. Blue veins were now clearly visible, and there were brown age spots scattered across his flesh. Tilting his head back, he exposed his wrinkled neck. I'm dying, Palamides, the alchemist said simply. I don't have very long left. When I die, I want to go as my own dear Perenel. You were in love once, Palamides. You understand that? The knight sighed, and then nodded. Let's get into the barn and wake the twins and Gilgamesh. He agreed to train them in the magic of water. If he remembers, and if he does it, then we'll press on to Stonehenge. I'm sure I can work out a route if the GPS. He reached out and caught Flamel's arm. Remember, Nicholas, once he starts the process, the twins' auras will blaze up, and then everyone and everything will know where they are.